Hello and welcome back to the Roblox Studio Brookhaven tutorial series. In this video I'm going to be making a supermarket job so you can go into the supermarket, pick up the storage box and you can then stock the shelves and then you get money. So I think I think we'll just get straight into this. So first thing you want to do is grab one of these boxes, we'll do this one, add in a proximity prompt, uh, object you might want to do storage or box and then you might want to do um, grab storage and then maybe you want to do as free, that's fine and then UI are set up to go to as 50. Okay, and now in here we want a script. So we're going to do script.parent.triggered connect function. Now player, just make sure you have the player function in there. And so, first, um, before we write anything in here, go to starter player and add in, like as you can see here, I've got a storage bool value. Add in that one so it'll be. So you just go to this type in bool value, add it, and then name it whatever you want, just make, remember the name, I have to name my storage, so then you can just do game dot start player dot storage dot value equals true, so once you've got it, it means you've got it. And now the second thing we want to do is go to server storage, or, or the workspace, and create a box tool like I have done here. All it is is uh, this. This is this is what pretty much what it is. Make sure it's okay. Um, I think um, that would just add it itself so I didn't add that. Um, don't make sure there's no welds in it, make sure it's not anchored. Okay and now you just want to put this into once you've done your thing put it into server storage. And remember that name as well and then you want to go back to this and then do game dot server storage dot storage tool dot parent equals player dot backpack okay if you want to you can disable the proximity prompt for that um, I'm not going to because I don't, I don't really need to because once you've taken the storage tool out of server storage you then can't use it. So, Okay, the next thing we want to do is go to one of these shelves. I've already coded on this one so we'll just go to this one, um, maybe do the middle bit, add the proximity prompt and then do the same thing. So shelves and then stock shelves stock shelves, stock items, maybe, maybe you just want to do stock items, there we go, and then free again, and 50. Then add in a script in here, into here, then you want to write script.parent.triggered connect function player again, and then so if game dot start player dot storage dot value equals, equals double equals 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 true then and then you want to do player dot leader stats dot whatever your money is called dot value equals and then again player dot leader stats dot money dot value and then plus whatever you want so I'm just going to do 50 and then you want to do scheme dot start player dot storage dot value equals false and player dot or backpack dot storage tool dot parent and then you just want to put it back into game dot server storage. I want to put that after this one, 
There we go. It's a bit, bit neater. And then I think we'll try this out. Yeah, okay. We'll, 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 we'll give this a go. So, you want to go up to this box? Storage box, grab storage, and let's hold this. There we go. We've now got storage box. I also gave it a bit of a bit of an icon kind of thing. Obviously you don't have to do that. You just gotta go to the thing in serve storage and change the texture ID. And so I just made it a little below poly box. So this is the box inside my arm. Obviously you can change that as well, but it's gonna go up to this here. Shelves, stock items. You don't have to be holding it, but you can. And then there we go, it gets rid of it. And, we, and we've been paid. So that is the supermarket tutorial, like so you can have a job, and it's just another job. In the future I'll make it, I'll make a, like um, a team of it, and if you want to know how to do this I've got a video on it, but um, yeah so in the future I'll make an actual job for this, so you can, you know, maybe there'll be a little circle, or maybe like a little book billboard, you can become, you know, you can work here then you can start to get paid but yeah that is pretty much how you do it if you want to see more tutorials about this or about any kind of roblox thing in general make sure to subscribe and leave a comment or join my discord and leave a comment there i take all your suggestions into account and then if i'm able to do them i will give them a go but if it if it's something silly don't expect me to do it so. So yeah, um, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the video, in the next video. <laughs> see ya.